denied the opportunity for face-to-face -face pageantry. This was how Saudi Arabia opened the G20. A seven-plane flyover of Riyadh to mark the first ever summit hosted by an Arab country. On the ground, King Salman beckoned the world's most powerful leaders, bureaucrats and despots to meet the challenge of their generation. It is unfortunate that we are unable to host you in person due to the exceptional circumstances we are all facing. As he spoke, flanked by the all-powerful Crown Prince, some participants were running late. The Russian and Turkish delegations in particular. When Vladimir Putin did arrive, he backed the summit's calls for the poorest to get access to a vaccine. Russia supports the draft key decision of the current summit, aimed at making effective and safe vaccines available to all. There is no doubt that drugs for immunization are and should be accessible to everyone. Saudi Arabia's human rights record had led to awkward questions. The faces of jailed female activists projected on the Louvre in Paris. But many leaders concluded that working together with the Gulf Kingdom to tackle COVID-19 was a matter of urgency. To this end, we need to sustainably strengthen the World Health Organization. We need reliable funding, better cooperation, greater independence, and the G20 can provide important, indeed crucial, support in this area. In lieu of the traditional family photo, the hosts projected a mock-up of their own onto an 18th century palace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning. I am Rafael Gahdani from Group M1. Uh, today I am going, inshallah, to talk about uh, G20 members. Uh, the G20 is made up of 19 individual states and uh, the European Union, which is represent represented by the European Commission and the European Central Bank. The states are Argentina. Uh, Australia, uh, Brazil, Canada, China, France, uh, Germany, uh, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Turkey, Un uh, United Kingdom, and the United States. In addition, international organizations uh, regularly participate in the G20 summit. Example, International Monetary Fund, uh, World Bank, uh, Financial Stability Board, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, uh, World Trade Organization, International Labor Organization, and United Nations, other state uh, reg uh, regional organizations and international organizations may also be invited, invited by their respective presidents.